Yep. Dead bodies. See that, Koops? Those were your friends. You think that's like an existential crisis for Koopa Troopas to deal with dry bones? Hey guys, how's it going? Comic Foil here, and we're playing some more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door in the Fortress. Um, yeah, that's probably timed. I knew that was going to be timed. So, we're going to be going through here, doing... They do a Chapter 1, they get Chapter 1 right out of the way with fighting a dragon in a castle. And, hey, I think we got another uh, friendly box here. Guests, it's uh, been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. Legendary ears, perhaps. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Yeah, hilarious. Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. I don't know, last time I did this, I got an awesome new power, so I, yeah, let's do it. You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse, folks. A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Yeah, Koops, you're kind of in the way from letting me see Mario's complex emotions to this. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Like, finding a key is hard. Yeah, we'll help you out, Boxman. Um, I was just thinking about it, how this is kind of like the middle point between the two Paper Mario games as, as far as starting chapters goes. Um, are these going to spike up later? I, I forget. Uh, Mario Kimon was asking me if this was a blind Let's Play, and it is not. I have played this game before, but not for, like, about a decade, so I don't remember everything, but I remember the broad strokes. Yeah, we got spikes now. Uh, Mario, look at that. Oh, no. Smashy spike thing. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run. Ah, I hate when they time me, too. Everything's worse when you're timed. There's a wall I could bomb there if I had a bomb buddy. I don't have a bomb buddy. This isn't exactly, like, the best angle to look at a maze from, either. But yeah, I was just thinking about it, how this is, like, Paper Mario, the original one, Chapter 1 was uh, storming a fortress, but it was the Koopa Brothers at the end of the fortress. And Super Paper Mario, I don't remember if it has a fortress, but the final boss is a dragon. This is a fortress with a dragon. Man, that was too close! Gotta shake it off. Ooh, okay. We got the key, so let's go open that spooky chest. I'm kind of wondering how Koops fit a hoodie under his shell. It's pretty cool, though. Hey there! Boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable! It's a black key. Hehehe, <laughs> fools! Oh, you lied to me. You're a cursed chest, aren't you? Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's trap prevent anyone who entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly googly boo. Wow, well, with magic words like that. Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than your, any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Yeah, um, I was already kind of like a piece of paper. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on, press and hold R. Press and hold R now! Oh no! The humanity! Just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you! I don't know, some people really want to be that thin. Eat a sandwich, Skinny! He! Do you understand that this what this curse means for you? Yeah, I get it. Then farewell, you dumbbells. Yeah, I, um... I'm gonna just go ahead and keep trusting those chests. 
Because those are good curses. So, oh no, how am I going to get out of here? I can't press the switch. I can turn sideways and walk right through. Like a paper person. And I can go in here and I can get this badge. Attack FXR. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. I think that badge might be like one of those free badges. Just like purely cosmetic. How about this poor guy? Died in jail. Well, there we go. You'd think Mario would be able to like turn sideways on his own, but now we can actually take advantage of the paperness that is Paper Mario. Well, let's go around and see what advantages we can get out of being two-dimensional. Okay, well, from going up the stairs, I found a lock that I don't think I have the key to, and I found a badge just out of reach. I think it's going to stay out of reach, because I can't, I can't kick coops while I'm jumping, so that one's going to have to wait. Do I have the key to this? Yep. Lock says so itself. I can't open it. That's fine. I'll live. Oh, but look. There's a key. There's a key behind these bars. If I could just find some bars that... Yeah, what... What were they thinking here? Did they just not finish this door? They didn't finish putting in the horizontal part of the bars? They thought, hey, it's not like anybody's ever going to be able to, like, turn sideways and become two-dimensional. Castle key for Hooktail's castle. Are there any other castles in this game? I'm trying to think. The ending area is kind of like a castle. And that's going to bring me back up here to where I used this elevator to go up those stairs before. To the badge I still can't get to, but I can open that door now. Now remember, we got to find something that has to do with uh, starting with CR and ending in Ickit. That is Hooktail's only weakness, so be on the lookout, boys and girls, for anything like that. I can heal myself here. Um, yeah, nah, I don't feel like paying six gold to heal myself one HP. Good. Love these paper effects. I love them. And use coops to get that one. That window doesn't have bars, though. Do you think I can jump through that window? You think that's like a secret? Yes, I think it is like a secret. In fact, I'd say it is... Oh, no, I was... Okay, I was supposed to do that. That's how I keep going across. Anything this way, though? Yeah, I see something. Star piece. Star pieces are good. And Mario breaking and entering, and getting in here. I don't know, can you break and enter if it's a dragon? This is the dragon's home, don't dragons have rights? Well, maybe you can say, like, you know, the dragon hurts people, you know, it eats people up, so, like, it shouldn't matter anyway, but, like, these dry bones live here, and the dry bones don't eat people up. In fact, they're the ones that got eaten. They're the victims here. I'm just callously attacking them. Why are Goombas working for Hooktail, anyway? You, man, Paragoomba. Reconsider your life. Gonna knock that coop down. Good. And can't actually do any damage when it's like that, but... There we go. Loses its armor while it's on its back there. Alright. It is raining super heavily out right now. Um, I'm a little afraid it's gonna thunder and my power is gonna go out. And it's kind of like, I don't know, nostalgic, I guess? I It's like a where is the time gone, because I feel like it's not that long ago I was playing Tales of Vesperia and there was, like, super lot of snow outside of my window and I was telling you guys about it. Because, you know, when you don't know what to talk about, you talk about the, re the weather. That's, like, a universal topic of discussion. How about you guys? Hey, Dry Bones, what do you think of this weather? Nah, he he's not a fan. 100% chance of hammer. And there goes a Goomba. Dry Bones and Goombas joining forces, and Bowser isn't involved. I, I think they're just throwing enemies around. Or maybe, like, you see, it's Goombas like that that give all the other Goombas a bad name. Look at this armory, though. Why don't I just, like, take all these weapons? Huh? Oh my! Who's this handsome piece of cheese? Please don't call me a, a handsome piece of cheese. I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. I want to get mad at that, but no, that's what we are. We're, we're thieves. Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globetrotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Uh, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star. 
So, don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Oh, he thinks you're cute. I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Darn. Yeah, well played, Coops. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Alright, cool. So we met a uh, kindly mouse thief who we wears heels. What? Hey, no, do not want. It means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met and already it is time to say farewell, alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? Well, no, she's a thief. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret that you share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that will help you best hooktail. Or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. Alright, later, mouse. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one, full of romance. Don't you have a girlfriend already, Koops? Darn prepubescent Koopas. I think I have that badge already, though. I think that's the badge I picked up from behind bars. Attack, sound effect, R, change the sound effects, more... Yeah, let's just equip it. See what it does. I actually think I already know what it does. I think I remember. Shine Sprite, that's gonna help me upgrade somebody. And a mush. Can I jump through this window? Nah, it's too high. Alright. Why don't I just, like, take all these spears and axes and, like, completely equip my party? Okay, I won't even know what hit him. If I... No, that's not gonna let me, like, get any further, though. Is there something else in this room? Something I'm missing? Um... Other treasure chests. There we go. For some reason, I was, like, thinking all the treasure chests were just, like, part of the scenery. That, that was a dumb thing to think. Okay, but that key. That key is what we need. So, we're just gonna head on over here, through that door, because that's what you do with doors. You head through them. I always wonder for all these kinds of dungeons, like, why there isn't one key that opens all the other doors, like in a normal house. Or why, like, every key is one use. Also, usually a key will work on any door, but... Oh, I should have used my hammer. Whoops. Alright, that's fine. Let's take this Koopa down. Keep him from moving. Yeah, I'm definitely using Koops a lot more than King Bella right now, because... Koops can do damage faster. Especially to guys like guys with armor like the dry bones. Here we go. Um Yeah, let's use a power shell. Let, let's just do it. And done. I'll get that flower power back. So oh! Hey, it wasn't ready for you. Man, attacking me off screen. Okay, we gotta do something about that Koopa back there with the with the pow block. Cause that's gonna be bad if we let him use that. Let's let's do another power shell. Let's just let's just try and blast through these guys. Take out that dry bones right away. There we go. That one's gonna get an attack. Oh, I'm too slow on these reactions. Okay, and Koops is gonna be able to take him out in the next turn. Man, Koops, do you even know those guys? And there we go. I wish I could, like, take the items that I get from those guys, though. Took a little bit of damage. That's all right. Leveled up. Awesome. What did I want to level up next? Maybe badge power. I'm already... I already don't have enough room for all my badges. Well, this is level five, right? Oh. Well, I guess we're taking health because I clicked a little too soon. That's all right. I'll take health works for me. And my flower power is back up. Is there, can I jump through this window? Nah. Man, Mario does not jump as high as you'd expect Mario to jump. Alright, and we're gonna hit that. See what that does. Makes me a little platform there. Gonna use that as an elevator. Coops, just hold on. Just keep spinning there, Coops. It's fine, just hold on. There you go. Um. Okay. Yeah, I can 
can walk across this. Again, good thing I'm made out of paper. Good thing I'm super thin. Oh, and I can use... Okay, I can use my, uh, my other paper powers to neg- oh, except I have to, like, jump and stuff. Let's try that again. And there we get- what? No, what? Okay, I just had to walk behind and very carefully go across this little bridge here. I fell, like, three times because I guess I just kept walking a little bit too far over it. You gotta, you gotta have some good tep depth perception there. But star pieces. Gotta get all those star pieces. I don't even remember what you buy with them, but good stuff. I think just, like, a lot of the really the really good badges. Um, why? There we go. Alright. Okay, I almost didn't make it there. I forgot where the platform I was trying to land on even was. Um... Coops, if I hit from up here. Nope, if I hit straight from up here. There we go. And Coops can grab that key. Probably gonna need that shortly. I haven't been paying attention to what the sound effect is when Mario jumps on people. Actually, I should have been listening a little careful. There we go. Another Shine Sprite. Wow, I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, partner upgrading. And let's go in here. And, oh, look at that zoom out. That zoom out distracted me from from not getting hit by Koopas. Okay, I can hear it now. Yeah, you hear that sound? It sounds kind of like a, uh, kind of like a cricket. You know, something that starts with CR and ends in Icket. I think we've, uh... I think we've cracked the code of this castle. Alright, get you out of the sky. Good. Let's take out this Koopa. Don't I don't I don't think I need to do a power shell. It's fine. I, I got this handled. I'm good enough at the action commands. Koopa Troopa has some armor. Goombas don't hit very hard. Etc. Get that out of there. And yeah. Doesn't matter that you have a spike on your on your helmet. Because Koopas. And the rest of this is just gonna be me wailing on this poor guy. Man, can't I just leave him like that? Is he really so committed to helping Hooktail hold on to the Crystal Star? What is your motivation? evil red Koopa Troopa. Perhaps evil is a motivation onto itself. But yeah, you guys can't stop me now. I sound like a cricket. I I am Dragon's Bane. And yeah, that'll be that. Look at this. Look, look at this epic skybox that some kid probably drew. I don't know. I like this. I like the use of 3D in this game. I like the 2D, 3D. Because, like, games with next-gen graphics eventually get dated... But this is always going to look beautiful and charming. Alright, is there a dragon up here? I feel like there's going to be a dragon close by up here. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Man, okay, very clever. Show you something else that's clever. Well, that, that wasn't clever. That was me messing up an action command. But I'm going to use, not that, power shell. Alright. Alright. I'm taking a lot of unnecessary hits, too. Okay, normal bounce. And I did a little, like, extra move in the sky there, which was stylish, which would help me recharge my, like, stars, my special moves there, if, if they weren't already recharged. But it might also give me extra audience members, I'm not sure. But that comes from doing, like, just a little extra flick of the button. Um, there's not a very large window of time to do that, though. Got it. I mean, I don't need those stylish points for anything right now, but it's it's good practice. Alright, let's head up here. Yep, this is gonna be it. Let's use this to heal. Luckily, it's pretty inexpensive there. Save the game. 
And I gotta tell you, I don't exactly remember how to fight this guy, but I know I have the ba badge equipped that makes it possible. Hmm. Who dares approach me? This is like that epic part of uh, seeing Smaug for the first time. Look at him! Look at this awesome 3D out of 2D Kit Rex craft project. Hmm, so, you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier? I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. Who is the strange garbed one? Would that be the x knots That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? I don't know, you're a pretty big looking dragon. But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce for some spices. Really? Foot, foot spice? Old spice? What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down. Head first. It says head first like that's like the part I should be scared about which way I go down. At that point, after being like pelted with dragon fire, I don't really care which direction I'm eating in. I'm probably dead. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? Well, this is it. We're fighting Hooktail. Let's do it. Let's, uh... Oh, well, first... I want to get Goombella out. I should have done this before the battle started. I should have started with Goombella out. Okay, well, let's try a jump. See? It didn't like it. Look, that awful sound. It sounded like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Urgh. I got really bad food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hookie. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Yeah, I found that out from uh, Colorado's dad. Alright, let's see what... I always do that when I want to use Tattle, because I feel like I'm, like, using, like, a Libra scope or something. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and it has a more dra dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with CR and end with Ickit. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? Yep, um, I already figured out that puzzle, thank you. Alright, let's, yeah, let's power smash it. I'm gonna smash its little toesies. So, did that just, like, make it vulnerable? Like, did it have, like, super defense before? Must not gag, my poor tummy. So very woozy. Oh, and, and the scenery fell on me. Man... You pay these union workers to put up your sets, and this is what you get. Um, Goombella's almost out. Now, now's a good time to change into Koops, but first I'll have Mario do his attack. Let's do another Power Smash. Let's load out this damage. Okay, halfway down. Uh, yeah, stuff is just randomly falling on me from all over the place. Oh, Triple Flowers. Awesome! Awesome, that's my first bingo. Okay, maxing out my flower, that's good, because I've been using a lot of power smashes. And let's swap back into Koops. Yeah, Goombella's just not for dishing out damage. Goombella's more of a... Uh, Goombella's more of an informational resource. Though, like, some of her moves later, like Multibonk... Uh, Multibonk, that's it. Can be pretty good. No need for Power Shell, because there's only one enemy I'm trying to hit. All right. Ah, oh, awesome. That was good. Good on me for these action commands. Great job, John. All right, what, let's finish Hooktail off. Two, and I think Koops can do the rest. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? I mean, that sounds great, but I just found out that you're a dirty liar. What? 
You must be joking. You don't need any coins. Then how about a lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Uh, nah, keep it, you cad. I like the word choices in these options. Really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. What is with you and feet? People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now, really. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? <laughs> um, I don't think I'd be able to maintain my self-respect if I said yes to that. Mario was like, hell no. You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better... Yep, Hooktail's out of here. Or is she? Yeah, she eats the audience. And I know it's a she because of something later. Yeah, now I have to fight without an audience. That's just not right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. And you have to fight Hooktail in the audience now. If you're wondering why, why I'm healing, that's because of a badge that I equipped. But, uh, yeah, let's go back to Power Smashes, because I got him. There we go. Four more damage. Ugh. Why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? And go Mushroom. Nah. Alright, would have been nice, but... You know, I really, I really don't need the health. I got this. I got this, dragon. I don't even need to use my uh, sweet tree treat ab ability. Making me stammer, though. And end it off. Finish it off. Power smash. Oh, uh, look at its eye spinning like that. But I... I... Oh, how? Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Mario, Dragon Slayer. And there you have it. That's a dead dragon. Dead paper mache. I'm, I'm like expecting candy to come out. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Oh. Oh. And something's coming out of its mouth. Yeah! I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa, it, it can't be! It's an awesome eyebrowed Koopa. Eh? D dad Hey, you're... you're Koops! Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. Wow, that is some strong, anti-acidic shell. And boy, it was nasty. Yuck. I'm so glad to finally get out. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? Well, yeah, but he was in a dragon's belly. What he, what was he going to do about it? For ten long years, we all thought you, you know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're totally, we're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to feed Hooktail, who's been wreck wreaking havoc in town. Dad, you're embarrassing me in front of Mario. Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? Oh, no wonder she had indigestion all the time. I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. You know, like, while I was being digested. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect. Just perfect. You can have it. <laughs> Who, me? Come on now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friend. Please, take it. Yeah, Mario, don't don't say no. You need this to save the world or whatever. And first crystal star gotten. You got the crystal star. And you learned the special move Earth Tremor. 
See, that's why it had belly aches all the time. There was like an earth tremor causing crystal star in its belly. That's the end of the chapter, folks. Well, good job. No deaths yet. Except, you know, dragon deaths and Koopa Troopa deaths. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet, they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Yeah, I'll save that. Well, guys, thank you for uh, joining me for the first chapter of about seven main chapters, I guess eight chapters, of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Next time, uh, we'll find out that Mario's not the only one starting a new adventure here. We're going to check out some alternate adventures, maybe find out what the princess is doing. Until then, this is Comic Foil, signing out.